Hey, this is a video tutorial on how to create this pan panoramic 3D view. And this is Render and V-Ray for SketchUp. So we'll go over all the steps and how to make it and how to get it to uh, show in this and you can zoom in, zoom out. Okay, first step, you want to have a 3D model that it's all built. So you have all th three 360 walls and everything is closed. You don't have like open gaps or anything open. It's you have a, th a full 360. So this is part one. You build up the whole the whole th uh, 360 view. Part two, you want to position a camera. Now the way I did it, the way I did positioning the camera, I used the position uh, position camera here, the guy here. Now once you press on it, it will say on the bottom how high is the guy going to be, where the camera is going to be. Now five feet, six inch, I, I found it a little bit um, high, so I took it down to four feet that's 48 inch and you just put in four feet and then once you got that you press on the center of the room and you have the camera on the center so this is the second part once you have the camera position the center in the right hat and the right and the right height that you want it then you need to go to the options so we'll just restart it and you choose here uh, interior on the camera type and depends what you want uh, maybe for you can start by testing and then put it on high but I I render on high quality interior but you can if you have a good computer you can render it on very high quality interior up to you so um, we'll leave it like that now the 360 you need to change here on default you change to spherical and you change this to th 360 degrees so basically this is will make the big change instead of rendering just a view now we're going to render a whole 360 and other than that you can put your usual if you want to change we won't going to change on this rendering and the output I usually put a ratio of three of three so that means if I render 2000 height so it's six six thousand wide so but for starting we'll try for the testing we'll start with 200 just to see it's all working good and ambient occlusion it's up to you I put like 1.2 and subdivision 25 and radius like 15 it's up to you it's you can change it whatever you like so this will be the first rendering the test rendering and I'll be back once it's ready so my first rendering is done is as you can see it's very dark so I forgot to change the camera here from uh, shutter speed from 300 this is for exterior to uh, 20 something like that and that will bring a lot of light and I've, I'll also change the um, up to uh, 2000 and 6 um, 2000 and 6000 and that will be um, my render and I have a scene that I already prepared for rendering this will be my render and I'll show you what I got and the next steps from there. So this is the render that I got. Um, I like it and I'll be working with it. You see it's PNG so I have like alpha channel on the windows and this is good because I can put a background because I didn't put a background in the SketchUp. So I'll take it into Photoshop so I have it here this is the render in Photoshop and the first thing I'm going to do is with the camera raw filter I'm going to um, one second let's first of all uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this layer three times so the first thing I want to do is I want to do um, I want to do some color corrections 
I want to make it a little bit more yellowish, have a nice um, home feel, a little bit more brightness, contrast, put down the lighting, shadows, white, and basically you move one, you move the other one to the other side so you get a nice contrast. This will make some stuff a little bit sharp. You see how it makes some stuff sharp? So I'll put a little bit of this and this will make the colors pop out, the orange and the brown. So I'll put a little bit here and also a little bit here. This is the saturation and uh, also on the curves here, it's the second one. I'm going to put like a small curve so we get also um, some uh, contrast here. So this is the result and I'm pretty happy. So a little bit more color here, some contrast and also some contrast here. So this will be the first step. Second step for the discoloration that I got some. So I'm going to do another layer. And this layer, I'm also going to put the camera raw filter. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to same steps like a little bit more color and contrast but here I'm going to change the I'm going to do a blurry and same on the sharpness layer I'm going to add some I want it all blurry so um, now if you take a look you see how before this is the before and after so before I have all those spots on the ceiling and with this I have like a nice ceiling very smooth but I can't do it for the all layers because I ruined my carpet so I'm just doing it like that and I press OK and what I want to do now I want to make it um, change a blending mode so to something um, let's say dodge color is good I see so I'll keep it on dodge color darker color so you see before and after and what I'm going to do here I'm going to put a mask and paint it black the mask so now you can't see anything and I'm going to paint with white where I want to have this uh, white effect so with the white color uh, this is a soft brush and white color I'm going to blend in some of this effect so I get like a nice ceiling and I want to do same for the kitchen here uh, so I get um, a nice ceiling and I'll keep a little bit here light okay now I want to move the living room to the middle to offset the image so the way to do it is uh, the way to do it is like this there is under filters offset so you choose the you choose the layer that you want to work so we'll start with this layer and you choose under um under uh layers uh, so sorry filter you have um others and then offset basically what offset does it moves it you can move the picture so same for the top but we don't want to move it on the top so we'll keep it on zero and uh, we'll put the the living room in the middle we try to put the cut where we have the connection somewhere um, somewhere where no too much details this only because then we can work on all the picture um, in a way that it's more convenient so we'll move it a little bit more this is good I like this okay now once I change this layer, the other layers is not they, they're not changed, but I can just go here and do offset and we'll change it the same and here also can go ahead and do other offset. Now I want to bring a background for the back, so I just drag this picture and put it on the back and it's pretty small. So what I want to do, control T and enlarge it now it's pretty good and you can see it now on the background just choose the position I like this with some I get some sky and some clouds 
this looks good and a little bit more like that and I'm going to copy it for the second to the next window uh, just drag it put something here as well something a little bit different this is good I'm happy with the sky the last um, a few more steps I'm going to put a layer on top of everything and with the, the brush I'm going to choose a yellow very a yellow color a very very uh, soft yellow and take a big brush like a really big brush and put like a light coming out of the living room and same from the window maybe a smaller brush and put some uh, light coming out and then change the blending mode to um, soft light and now you can see the difference without with you get like a halo of light coming in so this is nice you can put opacity down a little bit and we got nice nice um, uh, nice light another thing that I like to do is on top of the background just to pour um, a layer a solid layer of um, of, a, uh, of the same bright color and also put it on um, soft light so then we have like the background like and the back more not visible so much and it has a lot of light and last thing we we do is put another layer on top of everything take the black pour on top filter render choose the lens flare and move it a little bit and now it's going to be good hopefully yeah it's pretty good and I get this and not at this uh, nice lens flare and you can take it down a little bit because it's pretty high the last last um, thing that I want to do I take all my layers I copy them and I merge them and last thing is camera raw filter for everything together so you see I have some background so I'm going to cut it and uh, with the crop and camera raw and some effects for everything and this is good to make uh, unique uh, to make everything um, together all the colors and everything so this is before the the la last uh, and this is after I'm happy with this so for for uploading or showing a panoramic I found this website uh, sky easy panorama sky dot easy dot yeah, panorama dot com it's very easy you just need um uh, you just need a member you register and upload panorama and that's it and you get your panorama up and you get this cool view Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. You can go to our channel and see some cool videos on how to use V-Ray and some materials and all kind of other cool stuff. Thanks.